is mine. Hey, I'm going to boogie till I go blind, freaking, at the Freaker's Ball, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to the show. This is the Freaker's Ball. It's Friday night once again here on uh, December 11, 2020. And so I hear, not only is it December 11, 2020, it's damn Van Meter's birthday. Happy birthday, young lady. I didn't know that earlier. I would have said that earlier in the day, but I didn't know. Well, you know, you know me. And tick, 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 Sunday, Sunday, the Mighty Moose Girl will be turning 29, too, once again. Yeah, she'll be 29. Yeah, 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 and here she is calling in. Here she is. Here she is, that young, that young 29-year-old temptress, Miss Moose Girl. That's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, wow. Yep, coming up pretty quick here for you. Yep. Another. Tick. It's just another day. I don't even give a shit about birthdays anymore. Hey, you I know, really at, at some point in life, it's like, eh, <laughs> I've, yeah. had, I've had how many of these? <laughs> We're like. That people are like, what are you going to do on your birthday? It's like, for one thing, there's nothing going on no, to no, do ain't, anything. Ain't nothing to so, do. I'm not doing anything for my birthday, no. <laughs> yeah. Just my normal thing. All right, well, oh, since yep. it is, and, and, I, and, I, and I rarely get the opportunity to torture people with this, mm -hmm. I'm going to take it right now. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Moose Girl in Dada. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> now that that can haunt your No. Your I, I, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, haunt your eardrums. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, that's great. No, I, I uh, you know, whatever. You, you turn another year, and and yeah. every, everything keeps on. Well, wait, wait, wait. It's twenty twenty, so it's no birthday twenty twenty. Yeah, no, no. See, I can't. I'm not having a birthday this year. No birthday. <laughs> no, nothing. No, little, nothing. Twenty twenty. A little late there with the gong, Kate. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just say it's a birthday thing, so I'm allowed to sing terrible, which is really I right. have no I have no choice. If I'm going to sing, it's going to be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, um, <laughs> yeah, no birthday, no. No Christmas, no, no nothing. No New Year, no New Year's Eve. No, I don't want that. No nothing. Cancel everything. No. Everything's it's canceled. Go into 2021. Well, I, I will. Will they, I mean, they canceled 2021, so it's just going to keep being 2020. Oh. Okay. Well, well I you know they canceled everything, so I yeah, will cancel sure. next year. It's still a continuation of this crap year. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hmm. Well, if Biden is the president, they are going. He said he's going to do a mask mandate national. Um, what else is he? Dark winter. Uh. Basically, I don't know. It, it's just I don't know. Yeah, I think it, I think it's uh, I think it's kind of beyond an if at this point because. Yeah, I mean, okay, nobody, nobody, too, nobody yeah. wants to hear any evidence. None, none no, of the, they don't. None of the courts. None of none of none of them. They don't want to hear any evidence. All they just want to say is, "Well, it's too late. You lost uh, to right. to Trump." So. Um, they they just reject all evidence. They, I mean, there's tons and tons of evidence, and they don't want to hear it. So, no. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, I just uh, um, Biden's not going to be doing anything really. No, no, no. He'll be out He's of the way. He's just going to be a figurehead. It, all the rest, his cabinet people in Harris are the ones that are going to be running the country. Okay, well, here, here, size this one up for you. Okay. What is that? Is that a spider? Okay. 
dead now, whatever it was. Um, oh, no, don't want to bite you. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so um, Biden knows he's he's not mentally fit. Uh, he himself knows that he's not mentally fit. Uh, right. Uh, to to be able to talk to people. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Anybody. It doesn't matter if it's somebody his his own wife sitting in the same room with him. Uh, he's just not mentally fit to talk to people. So. Yeah. They will get him out of the way in one way or another as soon as possible. Yep. And install Camel Toe as the president. Yep. Yep. She'll have to pick a vice president. All right. And I think she's going to pick Hillary. Yeah. I can see that. I can totally see that happening. Right. And Hillary, who mm-hmm. wrote the uh, – didn't she write a book called My Turn about four years ago? Um, yeah, because <laughs> she's always felt that she had a right to to be the president. Right. That, yep. that it was. It well, was, she's always had that goal. Well, she thought it was her fate and it was her right to be that person. So yep. if she becomes the vice president to Camelto, right? Uh, uh, what do you think Camelto's life expectancy is? Uh, probably really short at that point. Probably really short because Hillary wants to be freaking president. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to do anything to Kamala. That, that, no, that, I don't see that scenario uh, playing, she, on, she, playing down. She just, she doesn't. I like, don't see that scenario. I no, Kamala likes her where she's at right now way too much, dude. She's got an upper hand over Hillary at this point in time. At this point in time, yeah. I think yeah. I did say that a couple of months ago, Kate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, anyway, welcome to everybody. We didn't say welcome. Hi, howdy, how y'all doing out there listening in RLM land uh, on uh, rlmradio.xyz for the audio stream, reallibertymedia.com on the Freakers Ball show page, or vaughn.live slash reallibertymedia, and right on over here into the chat room that you can get to through at least a couple of those places. And talk to all the wonderful people that we have here. We have a nice group of folk here tonight. So come on over, jump on into the chat at Real Liberty Media, and you'll talk to all these awesome folks that are here that we'll talk to throughout the show from time to time. <laughs> and you'll say, who the hell's Kate? Who's this Java doctor? Who is Donna? <laughs> they're people in the chat, so come on over and say hi to them. Uh, and they're here all the, you know, not they're not all here all the time, but somebody's here all the time. And so you can come over if you're listening on the podcast later on and say, hey, I heard your name on the radio. Well, yeah. uh, on the on the Internet radio, which is kind of like the radio. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the, uh, the, the Trump, uh, the big, big uh, Texas thing that got shot down today. Uh, yep. The FDA approved the uh, the poison and crap. Yep. Um, yeah. Well, you, you may be, and you know the thing is. No, oh, I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, that would have been. Th- I don't think you should say it, Graham. That would have been inappropriate. Um, <laughs> But I do like fig Newtons. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, hmm. So um, I knew I, I knew there was a reason why I liked Donna so much. We're like Zodiac sisters. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. I knew and there was more than one reason to like Donna. Yeah. Yeah. And there is. There's more than one reason to like Donna. Oh, there's tons of reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah she, she's she's yeah. freaking awesome. So, yeah, she is. you know, whatever, whatever. How can you not like her? Right. Um. <laughs> so they so okay. Uh, the Trump shit got shot down, and that's probably his last real hope was that thing that got shot down today. Um, and then the uh, FDA approved the uh, DNA altering, poisonous, kill everybody, sterilize the women. Uh, vaccine. Sterilize the women. I haven't heard that part of it. Oh, you haven't, huh? Well, yeah. No, that's... I have not. Yeah. I don't know. I... yeah, yeah, that's that's a part of it. Of course, they, they, that one, you know, that that information won't come out until after most, you know, ninety percent plus have have been uh, have been vaccinated uh, because you can't reverse that. So, um, 
and they don't want to let people know, oh, sorry, you're all sterile now. <laughs> I think that's what the Gardasil does. No, yeah, it might. Uh, but, uh, and but, I, all, I, but, I, I just don't... I don't think 90% of the people are going to get it. Maybe, maybe not. I, I think initially uh, you're looking around 40 to 50%, um, and then with pressure from employers... Uh, travel, uh, going into... I'll just treat it like I treated the flu shot all these years. Fuck you. Yeah, but if they... Fuck you. If they want to go play German, not German, not Germany, Nazi Germany, they can do that, but fuck them, okay? All right, well... This is bullshit, you guys. You guys, you don't see that this pandemic is a guy's to get us to do so many other things that we would not normally do. We wouldn't normally just lay down and take this shit. Okay? Right. But here's the deal. If what, what I think where I think where it's eventually headed is of course uh just like they've done with the masks, you know. Um yeah. and uh, there's depending on where you're at, uh there's ways around that, but um here in 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 this state, New Mexico, uh the the governor said a thing that you, you know people you don't have to wear your mask but you won't be able to go into any store because if we catch people going into these stores then we're going to find the store so the stores are going to make you no wear they're going to lock you up in a fucking FEMA camp well that that's that's something else because they'll give you probably maybe a couple you know strikes and then third strike you're going to go into the camp you know yeah, train that, cunt but that but that that's something else though. Uh, but as far as for for the the thing, and they're already you know they've already produced the the COVID pass or whatever the hell they want to <laughs> call it, vaccination identification type thing, um, and so you'll have to have that. You know, it'll be show me your papers. Where, I'll get a fake one. Show me your papers. Well, they, then they're uh, of course going to do things to uh, counteract the driver's license, counteract the, the counterfeits. Yeah, or the or the dollar, you know, the, the dollar bills where they can right. mark it with like a some kind of weird pen or put it under a light. All right, I I just want to leave now. Can I just go? Yeah, me too. Where are you going? I'm I'm heading. I mean, uh, I'm going there with you. I don't want to live in Nazi fucking Germany or communist China. Yeah. I really fucking don't. Well, where 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 else? I is mean, do, do you guys get it? Do you not see? This is global. Pre- okay, just for one, <laughs> just let's pretend that there is not a pandemic. Okay? Let's just pretend the whole pandemic thing didn't happen. Would people still feel the same way they do right now? What do you mean? Like, let's just say, it, okay, as, about the election and everything. Oh, well, I think there'd be more. Um, well, they wouldn't have had the excuse, you know, to mail in all those freaking false ballots. Um, so, I mean, right. they, they wouldn't have had that little protection to... To, to fake the election, um, so and and right. if if that were not the case, that they couldn't say, oh, we have all this this these, this, these ballots here, and they're all for for this Biden guy. So if they didn't have that, and and, and Trump had won, the the left would be burning more shit down. Um, yeah, the left or the fake left, or however you want to look at them, because most of them aren't really left; they're just paid scumbags. Well, uh, most of, a lot of them are just jumping on a bandwagon. Right. right. Well, there's that too, yeah. and then and then they've been uh, programmed and brainwashed for four years now that, yep. that Trump is this yep. horrible Trump evil is guy, bad. horrible yep. orange man, bad, a horrible evil guy. He hates you. He hates uh, women. He hates blacks. He hates whatever. He hates everybody. You know, unless you're a, a white redneck, then he he, then he hates you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, the, so there would be a different thing, a uh, feeling, I think, about the election at that point. Had uh, had it been uh, honest, of course, they've never been honest. So, I, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think, uh, yeah, I, I think it would be different than that. Um, but if not, okay. And I, and I saw this in a tweet yesterday, I think it was. Okay. If the television... Or, or the internet had never told you that there was something called coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Would, would, would anybody actually realize that it existed? 
Uh, I mean, no. if you think about a global pandemic, you think about, you know, people right. dying in the streets. You think about people you know being affected by this. I know Vinny was in here earlier and said he has the Rona, but I'm not buying it. He may have something, but yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't buy him having the Rona. He's got tummy ache. I mean, to me, tummy ache, that's not one of the symptoms no, of the he coronavirus, ate, he ate, it? Uh, well, maybe, I don't know. He, he probably ate some bad... Yeah, who doesn't or... get a tummy ache once in a while? That... Yeah, yeah, right. So, I... <laughs> so if if all of this, none of this propaganda had come out uh, about p and pushing for all this, mm -hmm. in which case there would be no lockdowns, no masks, uh, uh, no hospitals, no no emergency alerts on your like cell phone. Like they did phones. with the swine flu, right? Or the, I mean, the H one N one. Would anybody even know it existed? No. I, I, I mean, it would, they would just think, okay, it's just a regular flu, if anything. If anything. Right. And, and, and that would make far more sense than what's going on. So, uh, that, that's all I'm just saying there is they, they've made people believe in this stuff. And, yeah. uh, you know, people are out there uh, beating each other up over not wearing masks. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, since when is it your job, you know, you just general Joe right. public, to go out there and force, try and force people to wear masks, and if they don't, uh, then then you yell at them, and then and then those guys beat your ass. That happened. Yeah. That happened earlier today. It uh, did. Yeah, to some I don't know disabled veteran, which I I don't know what it matters that he was a disabled veteran, but that you know that they always put that in the story, you know, shed a tear because he was a disabled veteran. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Beth, you got a little different scenario, though. You live in a little small little place. You know, you don't live in a major city or near a major city or, in, you know what I mean? So I think it's a little easier for people that live in rural areas to say, fuck you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, uh, but... I mean, but in a, in a city... Or whatever you you, you can't you, 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 there's certain things that they won't. I don't know how to say it, but yeah, they're they're it's, bigger. It's a different there. scenario. It's just a different scenario. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't have like surveillance all over our city, my, uh, Moriarty. Um, no, you don't know. And and so yeah, you know we're we're pretty good on that, and uh, we don't have people walking around poking their finger in your face for not wearing a mask. Oh no, you got surveillance, Grim. Well, there's, I, I'm sure there's some, but there's not you like... you got cameras. People got security cameras all over the place now. You, there's, it, and in more, even in Moriarty. Yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't see them. I don't know. I, I don't You'll think... see. And look for them. You'll, you'll see them. You know, there, there's none that I've seen. They're at, not hard to spot. They're, they're not, they're not if at the, they're there, you'll see it. They're not at the grocery store. I know that much. In the parking lot or no, inside the building? Nothing, nowhere, nowhere. You're sure on that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they, they, they I, have, used, you know. I worked at a casino. Yeah. So it was drilled in my head that I'm constantly being surveilled, okay? Yeah, well, they're watching you from the ceiling. The eye man. in the sky, they call it, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, they're watching you from and the you, ceiling. They, you know that they're watching. So you're not going to do anything, you know, any funny business, taking chips, or, you know what I mean? Because mm. they can just replay the fucking tape. Right. And say, there yeah. you are. We got you dead, dead to rights. Yep, yep. So, so I, I, I was kind of used to doing a job where that was the case, where I was constant. But now it's wherever you go, basically. Pretty and much. And we all have, a lot of us have smartphones. Yep. So that thing's a fucking GPS tracker, dude. Yeah, and if you carry that with you, which I, I why, why carry it with you? Leave it at home. Leave it at home I mean, where it belongs. The point on the cell phone, though, is to be able to make calls. When you're not at the, on your land, don't have access to a landline group. Yeah, but that's the whole pull of it. You know what I mean? I guess that's not what people are using it for, though. They're out there browsing the web all the, all day, or whatever the hell they're doing. They're, they're not using it hardly as a phone at all. <laughs> right. <laughs> most, yeah. Most most of their contact with other people is through text. <laughs> right. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Anyway, we're gonna play some music here. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I was going to say, I hate cell phones, by the way. <laughs> mine, I mean, mine, mine sits right I, here. I don't like, I, it's just, 
I, I get a terrible signal inside my house, so it works like crap inside my house. Yeah. People will call me on my cell phone. I have to, can I call you back from my landline? Okay, sure. Then I have to hang up the phone, pick up my landline, call them with that. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And, and that's because the signal inside my house sucks for my cell phone. And I don't want to hold the goddamn thing up to my fucking head for, you know, 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I don't like them. Half the time they don't work. You know, you, then you get the, the butt dial. My mom has done this to me. My son has done it to me. You're like, hello, hello. And you can hear what's going on, but they can't hear you. It's like, oh, my fucking God. Most people don't know how to fucking use the things. It's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, I... Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, okay. no, I, 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 I don't, I don't, yeah. My mind never leaves my my side table here. Um, yeah. So, and, it's <laughs> only, and I only have it on like four or five hours a day anyway. So, right, yeah. <laughs> the, rest <of> time is, <laughs> the rest of the time it's powered down. All right. All right. Did I do this right? Let me check this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, here we go. Even well, God bless you all. All right, thanks, Mungo Jerry. Yeah, that's Mungo Jerry there doing his uh, track, uh, I'll Be a Hippie Till I Die. I'm right there with you, buddy. I'll Be a Hippie Till I Die, too. Uh, if you don't, if, if if you didn't recognize who Mungo Jerry is, he's the dude that sings in the summertime when the. <laughs> anyway, that's Mungo Jerry. Uh, before that, we had Taylor Bobson in the, her lockdown mode there, uh, covering uh, Nick Lowe's "What's So Funny About Peace, Love, and Understanding." See, I always thought that was an Elvis Costello song, but uh, I was wrong. It's Nick Lowe's song. I, I don't recall, I don't remember hearing Nick Lowe sing that, but uh, yeah, I, I may have since I heard that track first, because I went back to like April, May to pick up some of these initial tracks. Anyway, we kicked it off there with Jethro Tull singing the locomotive breath, living in the past, with the past. Yeah. Mungo Jerry. <laughs> I'll be a hippie to Yeah, like that. man. You'll be you a still got them sideburns. Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> still, is, still a hippie. He'll be a hippie till he dies. Just like me, just like yeah, you, just that's like good. you, just like us. Yep, just we'll, like me. Too. We'll we'll be hippies in, until we die. You can't help it. That it's it's the nature of us. Yes, we, it we is. We are who we are. <laughs> oh man. So anyway, something a little different there to kick stuff off, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, Taylor, Taylor Momsen, she's got a bunch of those, uh, those lockdown type videos. I mean, if you, then she looks like that in every one of them. I don't think it was bad lighting or anything like that. She's just, she's just very pale. And, uh, she is pale, but sometimes on the videos, the lighting's really bright and just washes you out completely. Oh, well. I mean, it makes you look really pale. I mean, I'm, uh, she probably, she is really normally pale, I'm sure. But sometimes that lighting can really wash you out. Huh. Well, this one is going to line up a little differently, isn't it? What are you talking about? A video? Yeah, a video. A bit shoot. A bit shooter. That I was not really prepared for until I blowed it up. I, wait, wait a minute. That don't look great. <laughs> well, we'll see how it lines up when I, when I play it. When we get around to it. <laughs> oh, man. Mountain man, yeah. Well, you're still a hippie. You can call yourself anything you want, man. Yeah, you, yeah. You're not fooling us, CT. Yeah, CT. Uh, we know better. <laughs> oh boy. We know better. Okay. All right. So. Oh, what was I say? Oh, all right. Hang on. Go ahead. All right. I thought I had a story, but I don't. <laughs> Uh, okay. I have to. I have to bring up the wind. 
Monolith. Okay, the monolith. The monolith. Well, not to all of them, just this particular one. Just this okay. particular one. On CNET.com, mystery monolith appears in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Where oh, we, yeah, I saw that. Where we love aliens. And then there's a, there's a sub-headline. You get a monolith. You get a monolith. Everybody gets a monolith. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I like monolith. I, I mean, I have nothing against them. I, you know, you know, it might be kind of cool. It might be like, you know, people drive by my house. Oh, look, they got a monolith in their front yard. Oh, here, let me put it up on the screen here for you. All right. Because we got, we got, we got this here. Let's see here. <laughs> where, where are we at here? Window capture. This one. This one. Where are you at? Oh, you're on something else. I don't know where you're at. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah, let's try and arrange this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's good enough. Okay, there you go. Um, <laughs> if you can't quite see that, uh, that little thing at the bottom, it says, at least New Mexico has a history of alien stories. Right, Yeah. <laughs> So he says, he says, I'll have awesome. to admit, I'll have to admit to having monolith envy ever since Utah and a bunch of other locations around the world got to host their own mysterious metal statues. Now my town of Albuquerque, New Mexico, can lay claim to a monolith, and I'm stoked. He, he, <laughs> here's every oh, I'm scrolling up. All right, whatever. Uh, here's everything uh, we we know about monoliths so far, but the ultimate purpose of the origin isn't clear yet. Art, possibly. Aliens, not likely. Still, the New Mexico appearance is fitting, considering the state's history with UFOs dating back to the infamous Roswell incident. That's all there is to the story, really, but. There's the monolith for you, right there in a field, I guess. I, I don't know. It's it's right off a, a highway there, so easy to see. Looks like a nice size monolith. Yeah. Hooray for New Mexico. Yeah, yeah. It, it probably will be <laughs> some kind of marketing gimmick. But if it is, probably. In, if it is indeed a marketing gimmick, why did they start in Utah in the most remote of locations? That that would be my question about that because right. Uh, I mean, who the hell's out there in the middle of nothing in no man's land? You know. Um. <laughs> yeah, it was, apparently it had been there for a while. Right. So it wasn't just a twenty twenty thing. It's been there of like four years, right? Yeah, the first one yeah. was there for like four years. And how do they know that? I don't know how they know that, but it, it, it's apparently in a really remote area. Right. But I have no idea. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Story go. I hate that. What's happening? You bookmark a thing. You can't find it. Oh, I'll have to give you a, a reading list deal so you can it's put It's your... like, oh, my freaking God. Awesome. And then you don't know what browser you're facing on. You're like, holy shit, where is this thing? Uh, well, like, see. I, I don't know. know. Having different browsers is great, but I, I get always fucking use, lost, I, dude. I, I always use the Brave for you know all my uh, stories for the show. Yeah. So, um. I I it's oh my. Oh God. yeah, I saw the one. Uh, uh, the wizard with the monolith said, "We've been trying to reach you about your extended warranty." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> painted on the front of the monolith. <laughs> oh, really? One said that? Yeah, it was, it was hilarious. You know, oh my uh, god! Uh, okay, was, well, the monolith. It was a meme. You know, the monolith didn't say that on it. But... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah but <laughs> yeah. but they, they just made it look like that. All right. right so here right. we have on spacetelescope dot org <laughs> posted yesterday. Hubble identifies strange exoplanet that behaves like the long-sought Planet Nine, or Planet X, if you will. Ooh. Nibiru. Um, all right. Uh, the 11 Jupiter mass exoplanet called HD 10690B 
Yeah, I'm sure everybody will remember that. Um, uh, occupies an unlikely orbit around the double star 336 uh, light years away, and it may be offering clues to something that might be much closer to home. A hypothesized distant member of our solar system dubbed Planet Nine, which most of you know is, is Planet X, but... Anyway, this is the first time that astronomers have been able to measure the motion of a massive Jupiter-like planet that is orbiting very far away from its host stars and a visible debris disk. The exoplanet was discovered in 2013 with the Magellan telescopes at Los Campanados, somewhere in Chile, an observatory down there in the Atacama Desert. Um, Los Campanadas? I don't know how you say that. However, astronomers did not know then anything about the planet's orbit. This required something only the Hubble could do. Uh, collect very accurate measurements of vagabond motion over 14 years with extraordinary precision. The exoplanet resides extremely far from its host pair of bright young stars, more than 730 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun of the Earth from the Sun. Uh, the wide separation made it enormously challenging to determine the 15,000-year-long orbit in such a short time span of Hubble observations. The, the planet is creeping very slowly along its orbit, given the weak gravitational pull of its very parent, distant parent stars. It's a binary star system. It's in. Uh, the, the Hubble team behind this new result, was surprised to find that the remote world has an extreme orbit that is very inclined, elongated, and external to the dusty debris disk, which we would call the Oort cloud here, I do believe, in, in uh, this solar system. I don't, is there a name for this solar system? Uh, hey, Ben, uh, <laughs> uh, explain when. It would be bizarre, say, if Jupiter happened to be inclined 30 degrees relative to the plane that every other planet orbits in. Uh, th this raises all sorts of questions about how this HD 106906b ended up so far out on such an inclined orbit. The prevailing theory to explain how the exoplanet arrived at such a distant and strangely inclined orbit is that it formed much closer to the stars, about three times the distance uh, that Earth is from the Sun. However, drag, uh, drag within the system's uh, gas caused uh, the planet's orbit to decay, forcing it to migrate inward uh, towards its stellar hosts. The gravitational forces from the whirling twin stars then kicked it out into an eccentric orbit that almost threw it out of the system and into the void of interstellar space. Then, a star passed very close by to the system, stabilizing the exoplanet's orbit and preventing it from leaving its home system. Uh, candidate passing stars had been previously identified, da 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 da, da. Anyway, so um, if, if you think about I think what they said on Planet X is it's got seven, eight thousand uh, year, um, seven or eight thousand year orbit. Uh, so when it, if if it's you know whenever it's time to to come on in towards Earth, um, it may not be in our lifetime. I mean that that that's a pretty long time for an orbit of a thing, and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I found it interesting, that's all. So uh, hopefully you did. I, I don't know. Uh I, I like this space kind of stuff. Um Speaking of space. Speaking of space. Jupiter and Saturn will be the closest they've been in eight hundred years. On December twenty first. Okay, those are two big, big planets. Nope. Hang on, sir. And do you have uh, more information on that? Yeah, it's the first time it's happened in 800 years, okay? The last time it happened was like 1226. And so what... The, um, the year... Go ahead, what? The, the year 1226? Yes, 1226. Okay. Let me just go to the right site. Astronomy. <laughs> oh, Ben doesn't okay. like Saturn. Yeah, I don't know. I have no problem with any of the other planets. I don't know why... You would have a problem with the other planets, but, um, yeah. Anyway, um, on December 21st, 
excuse me, hang on. This December 21st, Jupiter and Saturn will put on a show for stargazers that hasn't been seen in roughly 800 years. Astronomers are calling it the Great Conjunction of 2020. On December 21st, coincidentally, the winter, winter solstice, the two largest planets in our solar system will appear to almost merge in the Earth's night sky. During the event, Jupiter and Saturn will sit just 0.1 degrees apart or a mere one-fifth the width of the moon. The sight will likely meet, leave many casual observers wondering, what are those large, bright objects so close together in the sky? In fact, Jupiter and Saturn will be so close that you will be able to fit them both in the same telescopic field of, field of view. That's an incredibly rare occurrence. The last time Jupiter and Saturn were this close together away from the sun was in 1226 AD, at a time when Genghis Khan was conquering large swaths of Asia and Europe was still generations away from the Renaissance. Uh, humanity won't have to wait quite as long to repeat this month's performance, though. Another great, great conjunction will occur in 2080. Of course, most of us won't, alive today won't be around then, so it would be wise to soak in this show while you can. Anyway, I'll post that link because it kind of gives you a, 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 how to find it. Okay. In the sky, using your hand. No, I, I, I didn't. I, mean. I didn't hear you mention it there, and uh, I'm not absolutely 100 percent positive, but I'm mm -hmm. fairly certain that on that day, on December 21st, on mm -hmm. the winter solstice, uh, during the Great Conjunction, mm -hmm. there will also be a total eclipse of the sun. Oh. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure that's the case. It didn't, uh, doesn't say that, though. Not here, but um, I've read that other places in my, in my browsings uh, about this article, about this. this oh, news. okay. Yeah. The total eclipse is January 21st? No. December. Oh, uh, the total eclipse, oh, the, the, oh okay. The I, conjunction's December 21st. Okay, I thought it was the same day. Oh, uh, no, I, no. I must, I must have misread. Okay. Um, I'm like, because I've never heard that aspect of it yet. I'm yeah, like, is that yeah, yeah. part of it? Uh, I, but anyway, no, apparently this is, like I said, it's the first, I mean, so they do get close together occasionally, but this is the closest they've been since 1226 A.D. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So they call it, um, conjunctions happen when two celestial objects appear to pass close to one another as seen from Earth. So, they're not physically close, though, really. I mean, it sounds like they are, and it will look like they are, but they're in space, so they're really not, like, touching. You know what I mean? Okay, so you got you got tricky little hand signals here you can do to determine angles. Yep. Neat. That's neat. Yeah, so you can find it in the sky. Yeah. Holding your arm, and you can... Measuring measuring angles with your hands. Okay. By holding your hand at arm's length, make the various shapes below to approximate the corresponding angles. Hmm. Nifty. Um, Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, I do have a question for you, show related. All right. Two weeks from tonight. Yeah. It's Christmas night. Okay. All right. So... Are we going to do our Christmas show on that night or next week? I don't care. Are you okay I'll doing I'll be it? here. I'll be here. Well, I mean, I'm not doing anything for Christmas that night, so. Okay, and, and that's why I kind of figured that by 11 p.m. on Christmas night, most people have wrapped up any Christmas activities they have right. going on. So right. Uh, that might be a good, you know, good night to do our Christmas show. Do right the Christmas on, show on actual Christmas? Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. We can do that. Okay. Cool. Um, also, I might not be here, Grim, next week. I don't know if I'll be here on Friday, if I'll be able to do a show next Friday. Do, do you have, like, a Christmas party or something? No, I got that other thing I got to do. Oh, right. Okay, well, yeah. it doesn't matter. Wear a Christmas mask, yeah. Ho, freaking ho. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, also... On uh, the uh, oh December fourteenth. Wait, okay. When is this supposed to, eclipse supposed to happen, people? Can, someone, come on. 
Because I've never heard of this eclipse aspect of it. I've never seen, oh, okay, South America. Hmm, okay. Oh, okay, on the 14th. All right. All right, whichever. Um, <laughs> all right. So, and then additionally, following Christmas, yes. Thursday night, the following week, will be New it's Year's New Eve. Year's Eve. Right. So we could move Freakers to Thursday night for that week. That's fine. Are you, unless you're going to be out partying. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be out partying this year. I'm, no, I will be here. I okay. will not be out. So, all right. Trust me, I won't be out. Okay, so so we'll do our, our New Year's uh, bash party on, on New Year's Eve itself uh, on, the, on Thursday. So um, <laughs> so get your predictions in if you got any predictions or um, what are those other things that you, that you do that you promise that you promise yourself what are, what are those called what you know those things you promise yourself Re- resolutions resolutions right get your resolutions and or predictions in uh, uh, for next year and you all know how to do that exclamation point predict or ex- exclamation point resolution. Um, and, and, and then those will go into the list and then, uh, and then we can cover those on New Year's Eve. Of course not, you know, and, and we'll go through all of last year's as well. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And Sturgill Simpson was nominated for best rock album for a Grammy. Just saying, if you haven't checked it out, it, it's good. It's a rock, it's a rock album. It is not country. All right. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, and who else? Billy Strings was nominated, not for rock, obviously. Best bluegrass album. Um, let's see who else. Oh, Grace Potter is up against uh, Sturgill for best rock album. But I just think it's cool that they're finally getting recognition. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. No, that's I great. mean, I think it's called the Sound and the Fury. Okay. Yeah, that's the Simpson album, The Sound and the Fury. All right. Does he have a It's it yeah. Does he have a brother named Homer? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um okay, I have this thing here. And we'll go through a little bit of it. I don't know how many of these you actually want to hear, especially considering the source but it's a list. The mm-hmm. DEA put together this list. The DEA. Oh, lovely. They have a list with the newest slang terms. Newest slang terms for cannabis. Cannabis. <laughs> the DEA created a list of drug slang code words. Drug slang code words. And they always modify the list to keep up with the evolving straight lingo. A few terms like terpenes and MMJ, just short for marijuana, uh, are not actually slang terms. Other names on the list, like shoe, appear to be completely made up. Worse, devil's lettuce is is italicized in the report, revealing that it's a relatively old term, but was only added this year. Devil's lettuce. Meanwhile, blunts, good, and gas, and many other terms that cannabis consumers use in real life were apparently not important enough to make the cut. Either way, here's the list. And like I said, I'll just do some of them. A-bomb, alfalfa, almada, I guess, Albo, almohada, uh, AZ, I thought that was just Arizona, bazooka, bionic, blue dream, that's just a strain, right? Um, yeah. Branches, cafe, cajita, camara, the Osa Verde, Elefanta Pata, Escobar, Fatty, Fatty, that, that, that's been a thing for a long time, uh, Galena, Garifa, Green Crack, Green Crack, uh, Greenhouse. I've heard of that. I've New- heard of Green Crack. Oh, have you? Okay, Green, oh, oh, yeah. uh, Greenhouse, Hoja, oh. I guess that's Hoja, H-O-J-A, uh, Lena, 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 I don't know, uh, La- Lasaka, Loud, Loud. Hey, let me get, let me hit some of that loud. All right, Lucas, Monteca, Mersh, Mexicali, Hayes, MMJ, <laughs> my brother. Hey, you want to smoke my brother? Um, <laughs> <laughs> nug, nug, I think that's an old one. Nug. Uh, 
Uh, Let me pa- see that. No. Palomita, Pasto, <laughs> Pasture, Palomita, Jora, Pink Panther. Okay. Uh, Pintura, Plant. <laughs> Just Plant. Hey, Plant. All right. Plant. Smoke some of that plant. Poro, Prop 215. That's like a, the, the, it's a, like the medical, re- uh, in California, it's the resolution probably. Purple OG, I, I think I got some of that right here. Colorado. Uh, purple, purple, purple OG, I've heard, I've had that. I, I've I, had that. I think I got some of that purple right Kush. here. Purple Kush. Red hair, that was around in the 70s. All right, um, shoes. Oh, yeah. Shoes? Who the hell calls it shoes? Ick. Let's Ooh. smoke some shoes. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. All right, then. Maybe it smells like stinky shoes. I guess. Sour OG, sticky, not even stinky. Not even sticky. sticky. I would smoke some sticky, dude. It's, I would like to smoke sticky. It's, 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 not ah. even, it's not even sticky icky. It's just sticky. sticky. Uh, uh, that sounds good to me. Uh, I would like a butt of that. Tangy yeah, OG. Or... Get your tang. Tangy OG. All right. Terp. Terpenes. Tigitty. T-I-G-I-T-T-Y. Tigitty. Tigitty. Give me some of that tigitty. Top shelf. Uh, train wreck, Trinity OG. I heard a train wreck. I get, yeah, when I had to deal, I had this little, little, tiny, little amount of train wreck. And did you, me. and did you get wrecked on the train wreck? I got, fuck, no, well, yeah, but I had a little bit on me. Yeah. And it was so, it was in my car and it stunk so bad. <laughs> And I got pulled over, and they smelled it instantly, dude. It was, I'm like, fuck, I got that train wreck in here. <laughs> now I'm a train wreck. <laughs> All right, and to wrap it up here, we got uh, Trinity, okay. <laughs> Trinity OG, Valley, I guess it's Valley, V-A-L-L-E, no Y in the end. Oh, okay. And Zip. Zip. Okay. Uh, we don't know about you, but we can't remember using any of these words as as slang for weed. Anyway, what's your favorite DEA slang term for cannabis on the list? Let us know in the comments. Um, those, are, those are actual word names for weed weed strains. Well, some are, I think. I don't know. Shoe. Those aren't. Those aren't slang for weed. That's what it said. That's what the freaking DEA said. They're dumb. Well, yes. Now, I, I'm kind of liking my brother. They're talking about strains of marijuana. <laughs> or, or I mean, they don't. I don't see joint there. I don't see doobie there. I don't see 420 there. I don't see marijuana on the They list. got fatty. Or, they got fatty. No, they don't. That's not. F-A-T-T-I-E. That's a, that's a uh, strain of marijuana. These are all marijuana strains. Green right. cracks of marijuana strain. Loud well, is all of this is bionic. I want some bionic. I mean, everyone <laughs> I know still calls it fucking pot. Pot's not even on the goddamn list. No pot, dope. Yeah, Smoke. come on, this is bogus. Yeah. Well, no, it, it, well weed, that's the purple DEA. OG. Okay, we call purple OG perps, but that's a strain of weed. Yeah. Northern Lights, yes indeed. Another right. strain of weed. These are just strains of weed. I mean, okay, oh, they so think I, they're being all smart, but yeah, Northern Lights, Alaskan Thunderfuck's not on there. I know Barman's got. I don't got even a, know if that uh, exists anymore. But uh, yeah, Bar- OG Kush is not on there. Barman Barman has a list ten times that long. Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> we got tons of terms for fi- or strains of weed at RLM here. Yeah, Some yeah, are not so good. Greenery, like that works. Yeah, yeah dog greenery. Shit. You don't want to smoke that dog shit. Dog, so. well, yeah, yeah that, that's a joke weed. I mean, that's a yeah. joke. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, bottom of the bag. I got an OG Chillum right here in my hand. Bottom of the bag. OG does. trademark Chillum. Laughing Buddha. See, there's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. You know what I like about this stuff here? It's so smooth. Yeah, don't let our true love run cold, baby. <laughs> Sorry about the uh, messing around there with the uh, video during that, but uh, I didn't have a bit shoot window set up, uh, so now I do. So if you got more uh, music from bit shoot, that's cool. I didn't know they even allowed music on there. But uh, that was uh, all three of those tracks. Cowboy Tech Request it was a Cowboy Tech Request set. 
Uh, that was Stevie Ray Vaughn doing Cold Shot. Let me uh, let me subscribe to this guy so I can check him out later. Uh, oh, it doesn't even know who I am. I didn't even realize I wasn't logged in there. I should have been logged in there. Oh, that's the original. Uh, that's the original video that, that they used to play on uh, MTV. Uh, okay, um, the the original Cold Shot video from MTV from way back in the day, back in the eighties. <laughs> anyway, before that, Metallica. Nothing else matters. Uh, live Earth uh, twenty uh, whatever. Okay, uh, and we kicked it off there with Carlos Santana, Rob Thomas doing smooth. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I I uh, I had uh, yeah I had an MTV in the very beginning <laughs> when MTV was still music television. I don't know what it is now. It's not music television anymore. That's for sure. Uh, no, it is not. No, it is not. <laughs> but uh, back in the day when when they uh, when they kicked it off, I, I I I was there. I was watching. So, yeah. Cool. 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 All right. <laughs> so, yeah, these. All play. right, Graham. Hang on a second. Okay, I have a story. This is from my dad's old neighborhood. It's a suburb of Minneapolis. They say it's a suburb of St. Paul, but it's closer to Minneapolis than St. Paul. Anyway, well, they are it's there. basically on the border of northeast Minneapolis, so it's a suburb of Minneapolis. Okay? They, they are the twin cities, after all. Right, they're really close to each other. Anyway, um, hang on a second. I have a, I have an issue. Hang on. All right, she has an issue. You know, some sometimes a girl has an issue, and you and you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> oh, you were that. All too. right, okay. So in my dad's old neighborhood of St. Anthony, Minnesota. COVID-19 nurse Kim Hunt, she decorated her St. Anthony home with Christmas lights in order to bring Christmas festive cheer to the community, right? All right. And uh, uh, she was blasted for her harmful Christmas light display. And uh, it's just a simple string of lights outside her home. It wasn't like a big display or anything, you know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, um, she received a letter. It said, I couldn't help but notice your Christmas light display. The idea of twinkling colorful lights, a reminder of divisions that continue to run through our society, a reminder of the systemic biases against our neighbors who don't celebrate Christmas or who can't afford to put up lights of their own. Speaking with Daily Mail, she said that she has been left bewildered and sad by the note and has no idea who the author could be. My simple light display gives me joy when I come home from working in the COVID, COVID unit at a local hospital, she stated. I think it's sad we can't appreciate, we can't all appreciate diversity and celebrate traditions of all people. Hunt also revealed that three other residents on her block also received the same letter in their mailboxes after putting up festive, festive decorations outside their home. The local nurse says she has been inundated, inundated, with support after she posted a photo of the letter to social media. A GoFundMe, a GoFundMe has also been set up to supply Christmas lights to homes along the street, while Hunt says a local company has offered to come and install festive decorations for free. Supporters are now decorating their homes in solidarity, including a friend in Arizona who put up an elaborate yuletide display to spite the letter writer. Uh, one Arizona Zona woman said she put up extra lights on her home after hearing of the note. Uh, she said, the letter did make me somewhat upset because it's not a true representation of what I believe people feel right now. I grew up without a lot of money, yet one of our family traditions was to go out on Christmas Eve after Mass and look at other people's Christmas lights. I have friends who aren't religious, yet they appreciate the art of Christmas lights as well, the woman stated. I really don't think it has anything to do with that. The I can't have it, so you can't have it, offended by everything mentality, is so sad, and especially in a year where everyone is looking for something uplifting. There's no reason to shame those who do enjoy this type of thing. So anyway, this thing has gone viral. Um, Clyde talked about it a little bit. People are saying, 
Uh, if this guy wants to, Clark Griswold, his house this weekend, I'll lend him a hand. <laughs> so anyway, I, it's just, this is my dad's old neighborhood. All right. He just moved out of this neighborhood like three years ago. Yeah, I, I haven't been out at night, so I don't, I don't know if everybody's got lights up or not. But right, I saw, I saw they some, do around here. I saw what? some decorations in the in the neighbor's yard. Yeah, around here, um, they there's one elaborate display that's like three blocks away from my house, uh -huh. and it gets constant traffic. It's kind of off a of main drag. It's off of Vine Street, so it's like really a main drag, and it's not, now they're having like. They're putting a map out of all these people, like, just in the time of COVID, they're doing the Parade of Lights because they couldn't have their normal Winter Carnival, Winter Parade this year, right? So right. then they had to have people sign up and submit their houses decorated, you know, with lights to be on the list on the map. Yeah. So then they put this map out so you can drive by these all these places that are lit up all fancy. Okay. And, you, and they're having a contest just of the best, you know, people's choice of the best one or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's something. It, you know, it, we used to do that on Thanksgiving night because I lived in Minneapolis. And our whole family would go to, like, my grandma's house. And that would be the thing to do after we ate our second dinner is to drive <laughs> to downtown Minneapolis and go look at all the lights on Nick Whit Mall and in downtown Minneapolis because they would be up. The day they would be up the day after Thanksgiving. So what what is um, according to your your bright or Thanksgiving night they were up, they were up pre Thanksgiving but what no according to your Breitbart link here it says woke speak talking about the letter um, what's yeah. woke what's woke about dissing somebody's Christmas lights how is that woke. Um, because it, they're talking about, this is probably someone that's like... What the fuck is woke? <laughs> that's, Matt asked me that one time jokingly. He was playing his, he, Mom, are you woke? I'm like, what do you mean by that? I'm not sleeping, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you're right. And, and apparently it's these, um, the BLM and the Antifa call themselves woke. And this is something new to me. I did not know that, like... I just found this out, okay? This is like a new thing to me. Like, I thought woke or awake was like spiritual when, people that, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. see, now Sean says that woke is a liberal term. But you see, a long time ago, us here, uh, right. we, we would tell people, wake the wake hell up. up. Wake right. the hell up. Yep, and, yep. And, and so I, I guess the woke wrong... is not awake, dude. So I so I guess they made the same thing, but so I guess the, this, the, the wrong. Yeah, it's, it's hard to explain, dude. I do not get it. I do not get it. Because because I don't see what's woke about any of that. I don't. I don't. It sounds like you're fucking asleep to me. Um. <laughs> yes, that, but what's the difference? Hey, how is woke the opposite of awake? Though, so, right? I mean, it, it means the same thing. I know that's the common the words mean the same thing. The com the common usage of the word is woke. Yeah. Right. It, 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 I get it, Beth. Yeah, I get. I, but, but, it's like kind of a. But, but what? What? I, when, when I used to say, "Wake the hell up!" I mean, wake the hell up to the fact that everything you you know is a lie. And right. That, everything that, the government says is a lie. Every, everything you've ever been told is a lie. Right. Wake, wake up. up. Well, you know, this, this, see the coffee. Wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up and see the forest and the trees. It's all but a scam. But they took that term, like he's saying, Sean. It's a stolen. Like they took it and they twisted it. In turn, you know, it means something else to them than it does to me and you, Graham. Yeah. Because we're old and we're we're not in the scene. Uh, we're not anti file We're not BLM. So we don't understand. We're not twenty. So we don't get it. We're I'm old. 20. We're just fucking. We're obsolete to these young people. They don't fucking give a shit. I'm twenty. These twenty year olds. They don't care about us. <laughs> we're old, dude. We're elderly to twenty year olds, dude. Uh, I'm, so they don't I'm, give a shit about us. I'm I'm twenty. You are? Yeah, times three. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <I'll>, right. <laughs> but what I'm saying is these these kids, you gotta remember, they they were they had public adjucraption, right? Right. They had stupid parents, right? 
or or whatever kind of parent, bad parents, okay? Yeah. And and they have these ideas put in their head, right? Yeah. So they're they're misdirected to me. You know, um, I was looking up this. Uh, I looked up anti far arrest in Portland, in Oregon, actually. Okay. And I get this. This is the one I clicked on. And I noticed this the other day, that these people, they look whacked out on drugs, dude. Okay? Oh, sure. Close this link. And I don't know what drug it is, but someone brought up the fact that they could be MKUltra, and where they train these, Antifa people is in those dump the DUMBs. So I will, you know, look at them though. Their eyes all look like a lot of them. Their eyes look like they're on. I don't know how to explain it. Like that one in the middle there with the yellow and red hair. He looks fuck. He's he's on something. These people are all fucking on something. <laughs> a drug of some sort. And I don't know which maybe it's meth, maybe it's heroin. I don't know which one it is. I don't there, know. There, I'm there, not I don't I'm not up on street drugs. I know about weed, but I don't know you know what I mean. There, this guy up here in the upper left corner? Yeah. Looks like Weird Al. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, it, I mean I don't know what the hell I mean most of these people you like look at them like what the hell are they? What the hell are they? Uh, you know, it, yeah, it, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I'm like, so I say to Matt jokingly today, and I said it in the chat too a little bit, but like, cause you guys give me the idea, like, I said shave my head, and then they're like, no, you gotta have a neon pink hair color or something, and I'm like, okay, I'll do a neon pink mohawk. Oh no, no, yeah, you do this like this with guy here. With a tattoo hair. on the side of my head and the near nose piercing. You do, you do like this guy here, half blue, half pink. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, but yeah. I do, like, half purple, half pink. All right. But I don't, I, but I have to have a visible tattoo. Then I, I, I won't get a tattoo on my face, dude. And this one, this one has a reverse mohawk shaved, shaved on down the middle of the I head. I saw the reverse mohawk. I don't think that's the look I want to go for. <laughs> I, I think I would rather have the real mohawk. And this guy just looks like a... You know, traditional he, mohawk. He doesn't, he doesn't look like he belongs. He's like a... You know, just a regular dude there. Which one? The, the one, see where the, fing, where the finger's pointing? No. Uh, oh, uh, wait, hang on. I'm not on that. I was looking up the actual link. Oh, uh, okay. okay. He, yeah, yeah, which one? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, he looks just like a regular dude, but he looks like he could be on something. Oh, probably, yeah. Which most regular dudes are. <laughs> <laughs> this guy in the um, bottom second one, the bottom row, he the, got he got a little bit pounded by the cops. It looks like he must have got yeah, slapped or, or something. something, or maybe, his, maybe his lip, yeah, that could just be how he looks. It could be, but that looks like he got bitch slapped or something, and he got he's got injured a little bit. He's got beady there, fucking eyes, beady eyes. Yeah, and then above, and he's got a black eye. He got punched in the nose, in the eye too, because he's got a black eye. Yeah. But then you got the one above there. I could do the multicolor short like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Cut all my long hair off and little, do all the... Little rainbow stuff going on. I used to have my hair like that. And, and when I was 19, my hair was like was that short. I'm okay. not kidding you. It I, wasn't I, that color, but it was that short. I, I, I believe you. It was. It was. That was like the look. You know what I mean? That was like the punk kind of a spiky hair thing. I had to use like gel. It was like ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Brady's here too. Hey, hey Brady. Brady. How's it going? How you doing, Brady? Thanks for tuning in, man. All Good right. to see you. Um, okay. So, yeah, I'm just wondering, Grim, you know, I these so, people, like the so, one with the, the white and the, or the yellow and the red. Right. And then the one with the reverse mohawk, their eyes are, they're obviously on something. So are these people woke? These are the, yeah, these are Antifa, okay. Uh-huh. 
And apparently now, you're not allowed to be male or female. You're supposed to be they or them. Because you can't, you have to be non-binary. Non-binary. Meaning you, you, you're you both. You, you're not male or female. You're both of them together. Okay. Apparently that's the new thing. That you're supposed to just be non-binary. All right, well, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, it seems like that. I mean, and this is the example, though. Look at these people. Do they look like they are fucking crazy? Do they look like they could ever get a job somewhere? No. <laughs> no. Maybe the guy in the upper top left, but... Yeah, the weird owl. Other people. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, something's up with their eyes, dude. It's just their eyes are all the same. If you look at each one of their eyes, yeah. they're all the same. Okay, they want your... Yeah, okay, so I know, yeah. I get it. You know what? Like, Grim and I were talking today... And I like, I, I brought up a link, and I will bring it up again. Um, how to be respectful and supportive of non bite And I don't even care what you are. I don't. You know what I mean? If you want to be a dude, if you want to, I don't care. Whatever trips your trigger, whatever floats your boat, right? I'm, I, I will not be disrespectful to you. I will not. You know what I mean? If that's what trips your trigger, have at it. You know, it's none of my business what you want to be. That Beth, you know? Beth says there are over eighty official genders. Right, there are now apparently, two... and I don't, I don't know, dude. I'm old. I'm not. I, you know, I don't know. Hey, there's Jeremiah too. How about that? Hey, Jeremiah. Nice. All right. So, all right. Well, cool. Um, good for them. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying, and that's the article that I brought up and showed Graham and I, uh, because, and, and they are not nothing new. It's nothing new. People yeah. have always, this has been going on since people have existed. The, this, different, different sexualities, you know what I mean? Sure, sure. I mean, so you, it's fine. As long as you're kind and, and cool with me, I'm good. You know I'm what I mean? Done. I have no, I don't care. You want to have a mohawk or have your purple hair? I don't care about that. That doesn't bother me. No, you know? well, whatever. I don't care either. Yeah, it's like whatever floats your boat is what should be good. As long as you're not hurting me or stealing from me or hurting someone that I love or hurting my property, I'm good, you know? Absolutely. Right. You know, Rob, it, it sounds like confusion to me, but... I'm not that. You know what I mean? Who am I to say that, oh, this, you know. Well, there's that. And there's the other thing. You shouldn't feel like that. It's like, no, you know, I'm not. Who am I? I can't I can't go around making those judgments on people. You know what I mean? I can't. Because I don't want that same thing done to me. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm not going to. I don't think it's mental defectiveness. I think it's just being an individual. Well, who was that, that guy? Everyone's entitled to be an individual, you who know? Who was that guy we talked about last week? He identified as a goat or a, a horse? A deer. A deer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they showed a picture of a dude who was wearing antlers, and his body was painted in deer colors. Right. And I don't know if that's real. We, 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 we sure aren't, aren't for sure if that was a true story or not, but... Um, seriously, they, this guy identifies as a fucking deer. Yeah. <laughs> that was last week. <laughs> I mean, so we're like, okay, so it's not just human. It's now we're going into animals now too. Well, or maybe even plant. Like, okay, I identify as a tree, as a tree. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? I, I, yeah, yeah. That was I, just, I, I know, that was yeah, so corny. Yeah, I, I, was I know clever. that was way corny. So, so clever. That was totally fucking yeah. corny. Anyway, no, you know what I'm saying? Though? Now we've transitioned from just, you know, being one of the 80 genders 
to now you could be identifying with animals too. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with Will, <laughs> go with Willie on this and uh, identify as a pot plant so you can roll me okay. up and roll me up and smoke me when I die. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, All when right. you come back, you know, I don't know. I, I think I'd like to be a deer or a moose, an actual moose. That a would moose. be cool. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You know, that would be cool. Sure. They're just, like just, the king of the forest. You know, they're like the badass, a huge yeah, animal of the forest. Just, like, just stay, yeah. away, stay away from Sarah Palin's house. Yep, yep. Yeah. I, I can see... Palin's house from wherever I am. Yeah, you betcha. Just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, you betcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you betcha, yeah. Oh, God. All right, we're going to play some more music. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Yeah. And uh, we will be back. We, we to will. To discuss we, further we, things. We, we, other things. Yeah. So, Weaky, uh, weird things, freaky things, whatever. You know. This is a old, this is a historical lesson here. All right. If you don't disperse right now, they're going to move in, and there can only be a slaughter. Would you please listen to me? Jesus Christ, I don't want to be a part of this! Yeah, rolling in my sweet baby's arms. Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show. We love Dr. Hook here at at the Freaker's Ball. After all, the Freaker's Ball is named after one of their songs, and we play their song at the start of every show. <laughs> uh, before that was Tom Petty, Something Could Happen, and we kicked it off with Four Dead, and it's actually just called Ohio, but uh, the, the video says Four Dead in Ohio, Crosby, Stills, Dash, and Young. Um, uh, by the way, those were all Moose Girl requests. It was a Moose Girl request set. Um, oh, okay. Beth Z points out that she could be wrong about over 80 genders. There are 214 on okay, this who wiki. Can, who can remember that? 214. And don't yeah, use okay. the wrong thank one. You, by the way, for, 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 thank you, Graham, for playing my, my set all. Of sure. <laughs> before that That's was, not it was a cowboy oh, tech, ahead. it was a cowboy tech request set before that. And mm -hmm. a moose girl request set that time. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, Cowboy Tech and I, we, I have to say, we request good songs, dude. You we do. do. And other people do, too. We're not the only ones. Don't, don't, don't send me hate mail. Please do not send me hate mail. Anyway, um, none are as good as mine, but, you know. Right. 214? <laughs> How are you supposed to remember all that crap? Oh, man. Uh, oh, you got to get an app that says. And can you point it at somebody and, and determine what they are? Yeah. What is an app going to do? <laughs> I don't understand. Is it like, uh, like, I, it, like a plant identifier? You can. I, you know what they should do? They should do an app of the, the wordage, like that article I posted on how to be supportive and respectful. Like you use they and them. You don't say he and her. You don't she say she and, and he. It. You don't say male, female. You so can just say they, them, her. So See, there I go. I can't. I'm supposed to change my language. I, 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 come on. I, 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 I'm I, sorry if I have to, Like, and then if I do say her, her and slip, am I supposed to go, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm still getting used to this 214 different gender thing. So if a, um, <laughs> how, do, how do you even say this? So if a girl, see, that is a problem right there. If right, girl, if a female, that's a problem. Right, yeah. you can't say girl or female. Right, so anyway, so if a girl identifies as a mango, and 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 you really like mangoes, you say, oh great, I lo I love to eat mangoes. But that's fruit, though. That's different. That's like that's totally whack. That would be like a schizophrenic, you know, <laughs> or a uh, fucking but, mental but you say, I love I love I mean, to I love to eat mangoes. So then you go, I guess you just have to be like, how are you today? Nice to meet you. Um, even if they're like an obvious female or an obvious male, you're not supposed to point that out or make any, like, judgment. <laughs> and how I, do you do that? 
No, I, I but if but I, I I don't know. I mean, like, what, yeah, would it be? That that'd be sexual harassment. Saying I like to eat mangoes if the girl identified as a mango. Maybe she maybe yes. She, maybe, maybe she'd be into it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm all for consensual. Whatever, you know, two with consenting adults want to do whatever they want to do. Have at it. You know, it, it, as long as it's not coercion or being forced or whatever, you know, if that's what's your boat, have it. Yeah. Gender fluid. Okay, so there's not supposed to be any gender assignments any longer. Is that my understanding? I don't know. They got 214 genders. They got to. I mean, they're assigning it to themselves. Do you have to pick one of them, 214? I, 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 well, I don't know if you pick one or you have to ask him, I guess. <laughs> what are you? Yeah, I'm a, I am don't even know what some of them are. Let me look at that uh, that link that, that, that Death posted, the gender identities. Okay. And, and we'll, see what, we'll see what the hell these yeah, things are. Yeah, see what that's all about. Gen, oh, it's a gender wiki. It's not even Wikipedia. It's gender, right. <laughs> gender oh, okay. wiki. Okay, so you got they got at the, up at the top here, demi boy. I could not tell you, demi girl. What does that fucking mean? I don't demi know. Boy? I don't know. What demi- does that mean? Like, I'm supposed to know this. Gender fluid. Demi, like I know what a demi bra is. That's a half bra. So is that a half boy? Half I know. Girl? I know. I know who demi Moore is. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> they got, maybe they are demi. Maybe they are worshippers of Demi Moore. Yeah, maybe. So therefore, they're Demi Boy. I I don't know what that means. And they got a gender, which I assume is like asexual, like where you don't asexual, have asexual, right? Like yeah. you're you're not in the sexual orientation at all. You do not like sex. You have no sex. You're basically celibate. Because if you're an asexual person, to me that means you hate sex, dude. You they're, hate sexual intercourse. And they have form. they have gender flux and girl flux. Which I'm probably wrong. Okay, so what does that mean? Gender fl- uh, girl flux and gender flux? I don't know. Then what they does got. It, say? it doesn't say anything. It's just a picture of like a flag or something. Uh, then, then they got. What does this mean? What, uh, they got big. Like you're blending. You're no, bisexual. You're... To me, that means you're bisexual because you're like flux. You're like, you know, you can go either way. You know what I mean? And then they have something called big ender, which I don't know. Is that fat ass? <laughs> What's a big that could be, I, big, that big, Oh wait, wait! I, I, I might be reading it wrong. It might be bi okay. It might it might be bi gender, not big ender. Oh, bi gender. <laughs> there you go. So to me, that's bisexual. <laughs> I I so I, I write it as big ender, like fat ass. Yeah, that would make sense to me. I mean, that made more sense than the bi gender thing. And then they asexual. Have, what is? I don't know. I mean, to me, asexual means that you don't want to have sex. That you care less about it. Like, like apathetic. They got a million ones here. I don't know. Cobble. <laughs> well, okay, wait, 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 wait. Remember there was a shoe thing and the DEA weed thing. Well, they have here a cob, yeah. <laughs> co- a cobble gender. So is that like a shoe gender? What does that mean? Cobble. Cobble, gender. like cobbler, like a like a shoe guy. Like C O B B L E. Oh, it's yeah. C-O- you must let me have a shoe fetish. No, it's C. It's C O B B L O. It's Cablo gender. Oh, I don't even want to guess on that uh, one. Yeah. I, if a cobble, or I could understand because you like to. You have a shoe fetish. Yeah. Okay. That could. You know what I mean? Because there's people that have fetishes that are in the weird shit. They have something called for whatever reason. Yeah, they, they have something called fluidception. Okay, what does that mean? Is that like Fuck sex? I, wait, they got a link. I, it's a link. I can click it and see what it is. Um, this page is a cat. No, I agree, Beth. You're right. What now? Uh, let's see. The concept of being so gender fluid, it encompasses all existing genders. Whether individuals okay. think of a new gender, someone who is gender fluid becomes gender Fluidception is similar to inception, in which okay. new dreams emerge within other dreams. It's a dream gender. I, I, okay. I, I, I what? I, I don't not get I, it. I, I've had I've had enough of this. Um, yeah, I can't. I I this is ridiculous. It's like it may, it may, it be them, what you want to be, but don't expect me to be like, oh well, I'll call you this. Uh, I mean, Two hundred and fourteen different things. Like if you don't want me to call you anything, I won't. I mean, basically that to me is 
the way you're supposed to talk to these two people, anybody now. You're not supposed to point out their gender at all. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. To, right. Wait, wait. Right, somebody, right. Here may, somebody here may identify as this. Okay. Ubermensch. What is that? <laughs> Ubermensch. Is that? Ubermensch meaning beyond man, superman or superhuman, originated as a concept in the philosophy of Friedrich Nietzsche. Uh, Ubermensch are a species that are superior to humanity and they can identify as any gender. In a world absent wow. of in a world absent of God where there is no objective morality or purpose to life, the Ubermensch will act as its own God and assign its own morals and values. So uh, ha- that, you know what that means? You know what that that stands for? In, in a word? No. Narcissist. Oh, well, I was I was you're thinking a narcissist. If I, you're I was thinking if you if you're a, you are. If you're an Ubermensch. If you're superior to others, then you're a fucking narc. If you're if you're an Ubermensch, just go up to your roof and jump off and see if you can fly. Right. I yeah, mean, if you yeah. think you have that power, you know, go for it. <laughs> Try it. Hope it works out for you. Superman. <laughs> okay, like Superman. Yeah, yeah, like Superman. That's what that means. Yeah, yep. uh, above yep, man. That's what that it's, it's above man. That's what it means. Yeah, they're they're superior. Above human, better than human. Yeah, they're, they're wait, you wait, know, wait, no, no, above uh, the rest of us, fucking pieces of shit. Yeah, they're, white, they're, they're white, better than us. White they're zom- smarter than us. White, white, white zombie has a song about that. Okay. More human than human. Okay. Nice. So I have to check that out. You don't Can know you that song? The lyrics, though. What's that? Can you understand the lyrics? I can understand all of the lyrics. Like, is it heavy? Is it heavy metal? And screaming? Is this screaming? I won't well, be able to understand. White Zombie doesn't. I'll have to look at the lyrics. I won't well, be able white, to understand. White Zombie doesn't scream. Okay. Well, we play white, uh, some White Zombie on our show. Yeah, I no, I, I, I closed the so link So they're back. pretty mellow when it comes to heavy metal shit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, God. Anyway, moving along. <laughs> yes, moving on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, but can you believe this, Grim, with this gender thing? I, like, I, you I, have I, to worry about offending somebody by saying he or well, she where did or it all her. Come, where, where, it's like, Where did it even come from? I don't know. That's what I want. I'm, I'm like... Okay, I, w- I get lesbian, bi, gay, transgender. I get all those terms. But now all of a sudden they're saying, well, there's all these other things. It's like, what? <laughs> why do you got to break it down so much? You know? I uh, mean, I, I, I get it, but I don't get it. Like, <sighs> everyone is different sexually, okay? Right. There's a spectrum. You're on one side of the spectrum or the other, or you're somewhere in between, okay? And why do you got to put all labels on every fucking level of the spectrum or every, you know what I mean? It doesn't right. make sense. It's stupid. It's just like, be who you are, and you know, yeah. Well, like when did, well, it's just, it's, yeah. You know, well, when, when? Did, when did this start? When, when did it, all these multiple things start? I want to say about like four years ago. Five, I don't know exactly. It's been pretty recent. It wasn't too long ago where everything like like this. Yeah, yeah, okay. It went through. It went from L B G Q T to uh, everything under the sun. It's like, don't you people see that putting labels on stuff doesn't work? You know, yeah. expecting people to right. Sean, I mean, I've known for a long time about the history of Hollywood and their history of pedophilia. I mean, Natalie Wood was raped when she was 16, dude. Yeah. You know, we talked Gee. about that on the show a lot, but um, it, it, it Hollywood is, yeah, they're known for pedophilia, and they're not good. They're not nice people. Um, yeah, it's Illuminati stuff. And we've done shows on that before too. We talked in depth about them on this show. Is there? I mean, can, can, we're on our can, 13th can, year almost. What? Can, can we blame Lady Gaga for this? We can't blame her, but she's Illuminati. But I mean, she she um, doesn't doesn't she's a she's 
like she's a, Illuminati. But but she's like one that pushes it in her songs, right? Yeah, yeah. She calls her followers mo- little monsters. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she is high up in the Illuminati. Um, she's been at Spirit. Uh, Jeremiah says I can they... blame her for it, so I'm blaming her for it. All right. Damn well, you, you can, Lady Gaga. There's other people oh. you can blame. The only one you can blame is Madonna. You can blame a bunch of these motherfuckers. They're fucking psycho, dude. And they, they are narcissists, so they want attention. So you can find out. They don't want to be ignored. They draw attention to themselves purposely. Because they're like soul vampires. I mean, and then they, they take it right. They are soulless, and they hire, uh, they get into the mainstream via movies and music. Music is one of their main ones. Um, we've talked about that, too, on this show before. I mean, we've talked covered all this stuff in the almost 13 years we've done this show. We have talked about the Illuminati in depth, I would say. Yeah. All right, let's all let's all move let's 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 move along and move on down. All right, Let, let's all move to Mexico. <laughs> Which part? I don't know. Acapulco. Mexico Mexico Senate votes in landslide uh, to legalize world's largest cannabis market. Let's move there. Yep, Mexico is hurtling towards legalizing cannabis for a variety of uses. Uses. Yeah, amigos. Adios, amigos. Opening up the Latin American country to becoming the largest legal marijuana market in the world. Just prior days prior to Thanksgiving holiday in the United States, Mexico Senate approved a bill that would put an end to prohibition measures in a landslide vote of 82 to 18 with 17 I abstentions. Uh, law, cool. Lawmakers in the ruling Marina Party have been working hard to seal the approval for the landmark cannabis legalization bill before the current congressional session draws to a close in this month. Uh, Marina, alongside its allies, holds majorities in both chambers of Congress. The bill is designed to improve living conditions and contribute to the reduction of crime linked to drug trafficking. Hell of freaking Louia! Um, so the move would amount to a huge U-turn after decades of anti-drug policies led to explosive growth of transnational cartels and ferocious local cartel wars in Mexico. In recent years, violence related to drug cartels has claimed upwards of 10,000 lives, way upwards. Uh, advocates of legalization in Mexico have long argued that legalizing the plant would allow you have to legalize a plant. Uh, would would allow <laughs> would al- sounds, so absurd. I know would allow the country to advance alternative drug policies, halt the criminalization of drug users, and refocus its security efforts to better address public health. The demands of advocates came significantly closer to being realized in 2018 when the Mexican Supreme Court ruled that recreational marijuana should be permitted. One year prior, legislators voted to legalize the plant for medical purposes. While Mexico has a long and storied history of cannabis usage, the consumption of the plant is still not as culturally accepted on a widespread level as it is in the U.S. of A. However, the creation of legal commercial markets for the sale and purchase of the plant will likely displace large systems of illicit cultivation in the country. So there's plenty more to the story, but you get what we need to know. And yeah, uh, who sings that song? Mexico is that John Prine? Yeah, I, uh, which we're which all one? going. There's a lot of songs about Mexico. We're, we're all going. No, it might, it might have been Willie Nelson. We're all going to Mexico. James Taylor has a song about Mexico. Too. Maybe, maybe it's James Taylor. I don't know. One, one of those. Yeah. One, one of those people. Yeah. <laughs> they wrote a song about Mexico. We're all going to Mexico. Right. Mm-hmm. So. Um, Hooray, let's all go to Mexico. Uh, I'll go to Cancun or Mazatlan. I'll tell you this. They got good food. <laughs> they fucking do, dude. They got they got kick ass food, Mexico. Taco ooh, ooh, ooh. All kinds of just great great even, even yeah, those, awesome they, tacos. Tacos yeah. like you've never had before in the US. You don't even know unless you've had a me- taco in Mexico, you don't know. It. even their seafood is awesome down there. 
Yeah, and well, I've been to Jamaica. And, and they had the best food I've ever tasted in my they, life, dude. Their Seriously. Beef, their beef isn't all pumped with hormones down there. Right. It's all natural, all homemade. Well, about all, it's, but, yeah. Know, yeah sure. What? Yeah, I don't know about all of it, but, yeah. Not all of it, right, obviously. Yeah, I'm sure they have some and you guys, yeah, you guys would be surprised at how much food we get out of Mexico, okay? A lot. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Anyway, um, I was going to bring up a a story because last weekend there was some issues in a town called Hudson, Wisconsin. Right. And the thing about Hudson, Wisconsin is the location of it, and that's right on the St. Croix River, which is based, the St. Croix River is a border between Wisconsin and Minnesota, and there's this huge bridge, right? You got to <laughs> go over the St. Croix River to get between the two states. Sorry, I was laughing at the chat there. <laughs> no, it's okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I even called my son or texted my son and said, stay the fuck away from Hudson and stay the fuck out of the cities, you know. Well, the thing with Minnesota is they've been put on a four-week lockdown. This was a week ago. They're on their third week now, or, uh -huh. you know, or their, their second week. Well, we're on, we're on the third week of a two-week lockdown, so. You guys are? Okay, and. Okay. <laughs> Two week lockdown. Give me a right. break. Right. So Wisconsin doesn't have the same restrictions, right? Yeah. And so um what people do is they get restless in the cities. They can't go to the bar, they can't go to the restaurants, those are closed for four weeks, right? Right. They're like, Okay, well Wisconsin isn't as restricted as we are. Let's go there and party. Right? Right. Just over the border in Hudson. And so what these guys decide, these people in Minnesota decided to do was come to Hudson and party. Well, this was like Friday and Saturday night, right? Well, Saturday night was a disaster because this influx of people comes across the bridge in the, into Wisconsin. They fucking partied, and then shit starts happening after uh, midnight when the bar, if people first leave, starting to leave, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we're talking a lot of people, okay? Anyway, so one guy's walking with his friends, and he bumps into another guy, and that guy takes offense and decides to fucking start beating these people up. And they held, had a gun and held it to the... There was two guys and a girl, and they held the, gir, the gun to the girl's head while they're beating her friend. Well, then this other guy, friend of theirs, comes in, he ends up getting stabbed and killed, okay? All right. And then there was like a pistol whipping and a carjacking. There was other things that went down. The cops are overwhelmed in Hudson because they're not prepared for this influx of people like this, you know? Right. So now the bars and restaurants in Hudson need to close at 10 p.m. on the weekends, on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays uh -huh. because of this issue. I mean, this, this kid that got stabbed and killed, he was 26 years old, Grim. Yeah, well, it's you know, ten, it's I mean, ten, it's, and, and both of the parties, the the people doing the the crime and the people, the victims, both from the cities. Yeah. So they were both from both parties are from Minnesota, right? Yeah. And it's like, okay, what they should have done is they should have closed that goddamn border. I mean, I know it would piss a lot of people off, but that twenty six year old kid would be alive. Right. I mean, it might be just one life. Well, that like I text Zach, and at first he was all like, "Oh, nonchalant." He's like, "Yeah, that happens." I'm like, "Dude, that's not right." You know, I mean, yeah, it happens, but Jesus Christ, it should not have. You know, right? Um, and and so they have arrested two people for homicide now. Mm -hmm. They they found the people because they had it was a Minnesota plates. They fucking found the vehicle, found the people right away. Okay. But what I'm saying is, and like I talked about this before, you have to. If it was so deadly in Minnesota and it's so shut down, <laughs> and I shouldn't say this even because the pre procedure I'm having is in Minnesota. Yeah. But in order to really. I mean, seriously, why did Hudson allow all this influx of people from Minnesota come and party in their bars? You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like, why are you guys partying here? Do you guys have a designated driver? Like, are you guys, is, is all, are all you people drinking? 
Are, are you guys designated drivers? Are you guys all going to be driving back drunk across our bridge in New in Minnesota and cause death, death probably? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, because when we were kids, um, I lived in Minnesota and Wisconsin. I lived close to Wisconsin. Like, okay, so where I live is ninety miles from um, Minneapolis, but I lived in Minneapolis and Hudson's probably an hour from yeah. Minneapolis okay. yeah. or, or Woodbury, which is the town that you come into after you cry, you know what I mean? And so what happened was Wisconsin or Minnesota raised their drinking age before Wisconsin did. Right. Okay. And so this was back in the eighties. And so kids in high school, and this was back when they didn't check IDs as much and stuff. You remember? Sure. You know? And so people from kids that I went to school with would drive to, drive over the border to Hudson because they could legally drink there because they were over 18 because Minnesota was 21 and Hudson was 18. Well, some kids did that and they were driving back and they wrecked and it was two twins that were in a, in a vehicle driving. Yeah. And they fucking wrecked and one was killed. One kid was killed, but it was all kids that went to my high school. Right. Mm -hmm. And so after that, shortly after all these accidents started happening, yeah. Wisconsin changed it to, to uh, 21. Yeah. But there was like a year there where it wasn't, you know what I mean? Right. And it, it, a lot of kids died, you know what I mean? It was sad. It was fucked up. Yeah. So that's what happens when you have one state so close to the other one with different rules. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. And it causes problems. And now, this, I mean, I know stuff happens everywhere. Stuff can happen everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, it, it's just, I feel bad for the cops because they're, like, all of a sudden they have these thousands and thousands of people, extra people in their town, you know, and, they're, and they had to call in outside agencies to help them. You know what right, I mean? Right, like, right. And, and I'm not a cop lover. You know that. But can you see this scenario playing out? Like, Minnesota is closed. You can't go out to the bar. You can't go to the restaurants. Same here. They're all restless. They're all, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They're like, well, let's just go to Wisconsin, you know? Yeah, why not? I mean, and now all the the bars in Wisconsin and the restaurants there, though, that are being affected by this 10 p.m. curfew, they're losing money. And they've been complaining about this whole shutdown shit since the get-go. They're like, we're going to lose our businesses. And yeah. now they have to close at 10. Right. Because of this Minnesota shit. Yeah. Sure, sure. How is that fair? How is, you know what I'm saying? It, it sucks that they're getting now they're getting hit with this now too. Well, we we have to put a curfew because of all the people coming over from Minnesota on the weekend. Yeah, well, it's like fuck you, dude. Yeah, we're on, we're under the ten o'clock to five o'clock, I think. Yeah, you know, and you know what curfews reminds me of reminds me of, and I keep bringing this up, and I've been bringing this up for over a year. This is like Nazi Germany. This is how it started, you guys. This yeah. is how it started. They started with this, 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 and they kept ramping it up, and that's what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they want to do this COVID pass thing. Well, you can't go anywhere unless you get a fucking vaccination and have the paper to prove it. What does that remind you of? Nazi fucking Germany! Yep. Yeah, and where's your COVID? It wasn't just Jews that were killed. It was Jewish sympathizers that were killed. If you were even suspected of loving a Jew or letting they called you a Jew lover and they just fucking kill your ass, dude. Yeah, yeah. So many more people other than Jews died in World War II, okay? Right. I mean, this is ridiculous. I, tr I just, I can see, if you know the history of how Nazism started and everything and how they were able to do what they did, then you will see the comparisons between then and now. Only this is I told, global. I was talking to my dad. I'm like, Dad, they want you to have an immunization possibly to go to the shopping at the store. or right. to, You know what I mean? It's just like the Nazis did. Yep, I yep. mean, it was a so systematic my, my, taking my, away. Go ahead, Grant. My, my question is, Okay, mm -hmm. right now it's it's going to start off with the Covey pass, right? Right. How long before it gets to the fifth element, multi-pass? Yep. Exactly. Multi -pass. Cause there, right. It's going to be more than just COVID, of course. 
They're going to have it for all kinds of different other things. Oh, multi-pass, yep. multi-pass. Uh, and if you don't have right. that, if you don't have that pass, and also with the uh, the, the Black Mirror type uh, uh, social, what, what do you call it? Social uh, contract qual- or something? No, no, it's a say social points. You know. Um, right. Right. Or well, like bars, or right, like going places. Well, doing going, doing anything, doing anything. You have, you have to have, right, a, have yeah. a certain social yep, score, yep. a certain social score, in, in order yes. to, uh, to to, right. to do anything. I mean, oh. it's a status thing. You, you you're gonna be an elite. Or you're gonna be shit. You know, yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah. do yeah. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Kind of like Hunger so. Games or Fifth Element. Like Fifth Element is an awesome movie. I mean, oh, Fifth yeah, Element is yeah, excellent. Yeah, and like even Hunger Games, like well, I know even, you have seen those, you know, but. The, those uh, those black those uh, some of those Black Mirror episodes were really good and like too. Blade Runner. Oh sure, sure, sure. You know, there's so many movies that we can say, oh yeah, you know. Okay, of course, if it was like Blade Runner, where's my replicant? <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to know that yet, Krim. I, I want I want one of those Daryl Hannah looking replicants, except <laughs> <Yeah>. not. <laughs> Daryl Hannah. Yeah, hey, you know. Here's a slight Neil Young for her. Oh, she was she was a total badass in that film. And she was Neil Young, though. No. No. Well, oh, she was I, hot and flash, no, dude. Yeah, but I'm I'm talking about a replicant, not a real one. Oh, a replicant. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's fine then. Yeah, you want the the sex bot? Yeah, that's that's what she. Well, she was a, a pleasure bot. But right, uh, right. Anyway, we're gonna play some more music. Goes on and do the virtual reality thing and all yeah. that. All right, we're gonna play some more music here. All right, let's do that. We'll be back after the music right. break. Yes. Just, uh, break. Yeah, important important words here. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, three songs there, all with very good messages. That particular one by Joe Bonamassa was just because you can don't mean you should uh, before that the offspring shit is fucked up and we kicked it off with real big fish and everything sucks yeah yeah you know it too um, <laughs> oh man <laughs> the shit is fucked up uh, but that's that's the way of the world these days, you know. Uh, so I thought you said it was real big fish. I did. What did I say? I said real big fish. You said something before that, though. You, well, didn't, but, you didn't know what name of the songs, did you? What? Did you name all the songs you played in that set? I did. That, that it was real big fish. Everything sucks. The okay. offspring of uh, the offspring. Shit is fucked up. Okay. Joe Bonamassa, just because you can don't mean you should. All righty. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> hear that part. I was reloading the Freaker's Ball page. It crashed on me like it always does. I don't know why. Uh, Vaughn, it's Vaughn. It's not, I mean, it has to be Vaughn. Oh, I don't know. Vaughn's been working fine for me. I haven't had any. I don't know why it does, Grim. It crashes on me a, a lot. I haven't had any I mean, disruption. I know like, other people have problems. I mean, I'm on, using it on Brave. Maybe I should try Firefox. I don't know, but it just crashes on me periodically, and it oh. takes forever to reload. Well, I run, I run the Vaughn on, I run the Vaughn on Brave, but it's on Linux, so. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you know, I'll try a different browser during our next break. I'll switch to a different browser. Yeah, but, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, excuse me. So the Federal Reserve was created in 1913 because of Woodrow Wilson. He allowed them to do that. And you're saying that he didn't have a choice, Grimman. Why is that, in your opinion? Uh, because because of the Rothschilds. Because they forced him to do it, right? They, they yeah. They threatened his wife or well, something? He, well, sure. He wouldn't even been in office if it weren't for them. I mean, he was a piece of shit. Oh, okay. Knew. So he was like their candidate. Yeah, he was. Their oh, guy. Okay. All right. So I see that. And this was 1913. So this is pre World War One or during World War. When did World War One start? Oh my God! It started right movie. after that. It started right after that. Okay. Doesn't that make sense? Oh, absolutely. Doesn't that? That's it, like not it, a coincidence. Not a freaking coincidence. No, at because all. both sides. Were funded, but in every war, both sides have been funded. A lot of them, not everyone. A lot of them, have, they're funded by the both sides, both the same people, right? 
Absolutely, by the Rothschilds. And, yeah, and, like and the Civil War was the same thing. Yeah, all all wars are banker wars. Yes. And yes. um and they so yeah they 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 prod people into it by by uh, various methods, but but then they of course fund both sides. So it doesn't matter to them who wins. Of course, they they pretty much know who's got to win by who they fund right. and with what. So exactly, uh, they, yeah. they they stack one person's one side's deck against the other. You know, right? Like Beth said, like Beth said, um, it's to get rid of the young men. But K- Kennedy, they're talking about Kennedy. He was just another freaking globalist. Um, uh, he, he, he loved, he, he loved the idea of a one world government, um, Kennedy, uh, you, really? you know, oh, fuck yeah. Um, <laughs> he's done what though? I mean, I thought everybody loved Kennedy. Like Kennedy was like awesome. Uh, well, so uh, he, he, he did the, he dealt with the Cuban crisis. He fucking, but the Gulf of Tonkin was freaking false flag. Totally. Of I'll course. Us in the, the U S in the Vietnam war. I mean, so yeah, you're right. You know, I mean, I see everyone thinks Kennedy was so great because he wanted to expose the secret societies and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, Sean's saying not true. I don't I know. Don't, I know, but I mean, and I don't, and I, I don't know. This was a big deal. People were seriously scared to death in this country during that. You know what I mean? I, I don't. I don't have the reference material right here, but yeah, he was definitely a globalist. Um, well, his dad was not a good guy. Well, just I don't think any of I don't think I don't think I don't think any of those Kennedys were good guys. No, they they were bootleggers to begin. His dad was Joseph. Looked up Joseph Kennedy, dude. He was not yeah. a good dude. Not a good dude. Yes, it was a corrupt family. Like all these families, that, and, and I've heard you know talk about his election fraud that actually Kennedy stole an election. And sure. I know Nixon wasn't, you know what I mean? He wasn't a good dude, but... Uh, he was a horrible guy. <laughs> they stole the election from Nixon in 19... What was it? 60, was it? Right? 62? 60, yeah. It was 60. It was 60, okay. And yeah. so, you know, the Democrats have been stealing elections for a long time, dude. Yeah. This is not... I, this is before electronic voting machines. So the people that say, well... The voting probably only started to happen after we started using electronic voting machines. It's like not true, right? Not true, you know. Um, it, it, it's happened way before electronic voting machines, the election fraud, ballot stuffing, voter suppression, you name it. It's happened. Robert Kennedy Jr. Uh, he he seems all right. He looks exactly like his dad. Yeah. Like, exactly. It's like a clone. You would think, oh, that's Robert Kennedy Sr. That's not Jr., you know? Right. But, I mean, I like him, you know, but he's, he's, is he still a Democrat? I mean... What's the matter? What's the difference? It doesn't matter, really. Yeah. It doesn't really matter, because they're all globalists, really. Yeah. The only person that... And I still stand by this. The only person that made... Total sense to me, since I've been following this shit, is Ron Paul. Yeah. You know, his foreign policy is to be diplomatic, okay? Right. Yeah, why and that's why one have of enemies? That's my biggest love for him. What? Why have enemies when you can have trading partners? Exactly. And that was my biggest draw to him is like, we need to change our foreign policy and the way we deal with other countries here. And he's like, hey, we aren't the cops of the world. You know what I mean? Right. We, you know, and everything that he ma- said to me made sense. And it was so, re- I remember at the time, I'm like, I can't believe a politician is saying this shit. Right. And he's when still out there. He, of him, you know what I mean? He's still out there saying it every week. Yeah, he is, you know, and he's in his late 80s and a very smart man. And, you know, I just, I, I love, I still love the man. You know what I mean? When he had that little mini stroke, I was seriously bummed out. I'm like, oh my God, this can't happen. Not in 2020. We can't lose Ron, too. Like, yeah, I know. You know, we've lost so many people. I mean, John yeah. Klein. Tom, I'm not, I, well, I, Tom Petty was like three years ago, but I still feel like it was yesterday. 
That yeah. one hit me hard for some. I don't know why, but yeah, I know. I, know. I just that one really breaks broke my heart. The Tom Petty, it really did. It, yeah. And Prince, when Prince died, that broke my heart, dude. Yeah, there's been a yeah. lot of tough ones. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Ron is like Thomas Jefferson to me. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. No, that that'd be a good comparison. Yeah, because Thomas Jefferson was a very smart man. I think Thomas Jefferson was almost better than George Washington. Like, George Washington kind of just, they put him in there. Right. You know what I mean? And Thomas Jefferson really was one of the best presidents we ever fucking had. I mean, and, and I Adam remember sucked. going to D.C. when I was, like, 13, and my dad, and even though I thought it was boring as fuck, he made me read some of Thomas Jefferson's quotes okay. and shit. You know what I mean? And I'm sure, like, sure. yeah. You know, that makes sense to me. That's right, we, how it should be. We got, we got to do our last set here. Okay. We'll, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll be back that. after these wonderful music. Music. All right. <laughs> are you All right. Are you more human than human? No. Hell no. Black Betty. That's uh, Christopher Amoroso there, covering Black Betty. Uh, before that, for Rome's, Rome's really uh, seems to enjoy this. Uh, these these kids, uh, Colt Clark and the Quarantine Kids, covering the Who's a Magic Bus, and we kicked it off with White Zombie. More human than human. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, I love that version of Black Betty best. Yeah, anyway, yeah, that's, but, that, one. but that's me. Um, <laughs> I like that. I like all the versions that we play, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, and every time I hear Black Betty, I think of the Freakers Ball. I'm like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> it's like you're on the radio or something, you know what I mean? Right, 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 Freakers it's crazy. Ball. crazy, it's weird. It's like, this is our song. Hey, yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. It's been a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun yeah. here. Yeah. I and, had uh, the great show. I loved it. it yeah, nice, nice conversations in the chat yeah. and on the radio here. So yeah, uh, really, we'll be back yeah. next Friday with uh, yep. some more. We, we might sneak a few Christmas tunes in next I week. I won't be back next Friday. Girl. Okay, I'm, well, I'm just, I'm just throw, I, I don't know. It'll be a, I, I it'll be a, I'll be here. It'll, it'll probably be a solo next week. Uh, yeah, I, yep. Thanks, Moose. Jeremiah. Thanks, uh, everyone that tuned in. Thanks, Sean. Yeah. That's all you got. I mean, we're here all the time. The chat's always going. So yeah. if you get bored and you want to fucking chat with people, just pop on in. And I'll be on Sunday at noon Eastern with yep. the blues uh, for about three hours. And then um, and then, and then, then uh, right after me at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern is Hal Anthony behind the woodshed. Opening up that big old kind of whoop ass. Whoop ass. And so tune in for that. <laughs> and then uh, I'll be back again on Monday with Circle at 2 p.m. Yep. Eastern yep. with It's All Connected. So uh, that's it. Uh, thanks, everybody, once again. Have a great weekend. Yeah, everyone. Yep. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Peace.